Olga from Helga's Pennsylvania Cooking. Um, I actually got the inspiration for today's dish uh, from drinking something else. I love pickle juice. I say pickle juice. I'll even drink pickle juice, especially dill pickle juice. It's actually really good for you. Um, but I happen to be at, at relative at my relative's hometown up at Ridgeway, PA, and nearby at Force, PA, or around Weedville, are some really nice little distilleries that have popped up in the last few years. And I was trying some of their wares, and one of them happens to be pickled, triple nickel, yeah, triple nickel uh, distillery up at Force, PA, around Weedville, uh, not far from St. Mary's, Emporium, Ridgeway area. Uh, is a fabulous little distillery. I know they go out to shows with their truck and stuff. I know they did one out at Clearfield uh, here about a week ago. But uh, I had a lot of fun. Mike and I both had a lot of fun sampling their wares and of course I had to bring some home. This is fabulous on the rocks. But I was sipping their pickled and it got me thinking about brining with pickle juice. And brining with pickle juice, pickle juice makes an excellent brine for uh, chicken, turkey, any kind of poultry. In fact, um, there are quite a few people that brine their turkeys for Thanksgiving. So, going into that, I had a bunch of pickle juice saved and I thought, I'm going to pickle some, do some pickled chicken. Uh, use it as a brine and then finish it off on the grill later. Why use uh, a brine in the first place? Well, a brine, especially if you have a drier piece of uh, meat like um, chicken breasts, boneless chicken breasts, they can, they can dry out on you. So this really gives an advantage. Pickle juice helps break down, has the enzymes to help break down uh, the toughness of the meat um, and also lock in the juices and some flavor. So it's really a good way to, to use for things that might dry out, especially if you're roasting a long time or dishes like that, or like grilling. Chicken can dry out being grilled really easily. So um, I'm going to use some of my saved dill pickle juice today and do a uh, pickle brined chicken thighs that I'm going to finish on the grill later. It is super simple. You just put everything in the bag and in the refrigerator and forget about it for a few hours. There is one caveat though uh, to using pickle juice or brine. Um, you do have to watch the time because if you go too long it will change the composition of the meat and it can make it mushy. So you don't want to overdo it. You want to get enough to inject that um, tenderizing effect and juiciness, lock in the juiciness, but you don't want to do it so long that you turn everything to mush. So that's what we're going to do today is a pickle brined chicken thighs. Now all you need for this are the thighs and I'm keeping the skin on because I'm going to be doing it on the grill and I like that skin on for the grill. I got two cups of pickle juice. Um, I have some uh, chili lime seasoning here, two and a half tablespoons of brown sugar. It helps offset the tang of the uh, pickle juice. and. The chili lime gives it some nice spice. If you don't want, if you don't have that, of course, that's my, you know, pampered chef. If you don't have that, uh, cayenne works, or even paprika. Um, and of course, I've got our goodies here. Those are going to come in handy around supper time. Mike's already been hitting this one, so let's get to it. All you do is take a one-gallon Ziploc bag. We're going to add our ingredients like our pickle juice, our brown sugar, and our chili lime. I'm just going to shake this around a bit because I want to make sure the brown sugar is broken up. So it's all mixed in there. Okay, and it is. And then we're just going to drop in our, our chicken. This smells so good. Okay, keep this 
clear here because I don't want to use my chicken hand. going to lay that out. I'm going to let this go a couple hours in the fridge and uh, I'll flip it over in another hour so that this can really brine out good and, and pick up that tenderizing effect and uh, flavor. So like I said, I'm going to put this in the fridge for a couple hours and uh, we'll come back in a bit. So the grill's ready and uh, my chicken's done marinating and we're just going to get her on the grill. I've got some uh, potatoes and onions going here and I'm going to be throwing on some, uh... oh man that smells really good. I'm going to be throwing on some asparagus from uh, his sister's garden. Some of the last of it, he's all pretty well done, but get a little bit more. I also wanted to show off my new apron. A couple fellow YouTubers, uh, Llama Monster and Granny Monster, were kind enough to gift me with this awesome new apron. Nice big pockets and all. And I always appreciate aprons, so Granny Monster and Llama Monster, thank you so much. Check Dave and Granny out. Um, like I said, they're fellow YouTubers and uh, you might enjoy some of their content. They're a lot of fun. Thank you guys. Ooh, we're getting there. Now, if these are boneless, if these were boneless thighs or breasts, would be about five minutes a side. But with having them bone in, uh, you need about 12 to 15 a side. Or until your juices run clear. And it's done. You know what comes next. We got to busy to the eating part and I almost forgot about <laughs> the tasting part. My bad. Um, not as much here as there was when I started out. So, but I am going to show you. This stayed so nice and juicy and you can taste the dill pickle but it's not strong. But you can taste the flavor and it gives her some really nice added flavor. And it's nice and done and still juicy and glistening. The flavor is out of sight. I'm just, I'm just saying the flavor is so good. Not dry. Brining gives you such an advantage. A lot of people will brine their Thanksgiving turkeys, whole chickens. Just a great way to infuse flavor moisture, lock it in, um, tenderize, all in one shot. So don't waste that pickle juice. I have a quart in there uh, to still use. I save it all. I keep it in an old orange juice bottle, but uh, it never goes bad. And I like to drink it occasionally too. So, But give that a shot. Check out Triple Nickel um, Distillery. Um, their products are amazing. They're great to visit, so much fun. And uh, once again, thanks to Llama Monster and Granny Monster for my new apron. So, that's it. Try Pickle Brine Chicken.